How long can a Delta Pro Ultra run your house off grid when the power is out? That's exactly what I want to find out at my house living life like normal. Two years ago, I tried to run my house off grid with the Delta Pro, the smaller model of the Delta Pro Ultra. I was able to run my house for nearly a week. My family and I are going to live life pretty much like normal on the Delta Pro Ultra bronze kit, plus four extra panels that can be found at poweredportablesolar.com. We will be running two refrigerators, one large upright freezer, washing machines, gas dryer, gas water heater, gas furnace, gas stove, gas oven, even Wi-Fi, TVs, computers, lighting, air fryer, toaster, microwave, as many things as we would typically run, that's what we're gonna run in our house. To show you how I'm doing that, let's go step by step on how I connect this whole system to my house without having to get any permits or do any paperwork with the city or county. Anyone can do this, it's 100% legal. Before this can be done, you need to make sure that you have an electrician install a generator outlet and an interlock switch. This allows you to disconnect your power from the grid completely and then supply your own power to the house. By doing it this way, you can run the entire electrical panel up to the rated output of the inverter. The Delta Pro Ultra has a 7200 watt split phase inverter. And that means that I can run my whole electrical panel instead of only a smaller electrical panel, commonly known as a critical load panel. If you don't have a generator outlet yet, have an electrician install one using an SS2-50P outlet. In case you ever want to expand your solar generator setup, it'll be rated for higher output, but works perfectly fine for this setup now. To connect this to your house, get an L1430 extension cable, just like this one. It has a male end and a female end, just like a normal extension cable, but for high amperage. Get an L1430P to SS250R adapter, just like this one. Plug the adapter into the wall by lining up this groove that's on the top into the 12 o'clock position. Be sure to twist it clockwise once it's in all the way. Then connect your L1430 extension cable to the adapter. Plug in the L1430 extension cable into the 240 volt outlet of the Delta Pro Ultra. Turn on the Delta Pro Ultra, but be mindful that the AC output typically turns on by itself, so be sure to turn that off for now. Go to your main electrical panel and locate the interlock switch, which may also be listed as your generator breaker. Turn off the main breaker to the electrical panel and turn on the generator breaker after you move the metal plate, which is the interlock switch. Go back to the Delta Pro Ultra and turn on the AC output. This will take a second to get everything turned on, but you'll see it start to push power out to the whole house. Whenever I do this, I have to reset the clock on my oven, as well as turn off the oven light, as well as reset the clock on my microwave. But it's 100% worth it because now you're not paying for power to the power company and you're being 100% self-reliant with electricity. The Delta Pro Ultra can have up to 5,600 watts of solar input split between the high voltage and low voltage solar input. So that's 4,000 watts on the high voltage and 1,600 watts on the low voltage. So I'm setting up 10 400 watt solar panels for the high voltage and four 400 watt panels for the low voltage. I use a three foot solar cable extension on my Delta Pro Ultra on the side here because the connectors are hard to use. So this extension makes life a little bit easier. Now I've got lots of solar power coming in and my entire house is running off of solar with ease. I can power everything, including the EMP shield that's installed on my electrical panel to help keep that protected, and even my Traeger pellet grill. And tonight I'm cooking up red chicken, which is one of my wife's delicious dishes that our family loves. This is 100% powered by the Delta Pro Ultra. At the same time, we're running a load of laundry on our gas dryer, and we won't be using our electric dryer very much since it uses so much power. To run that as well as other heavy electrical heating items, it's best to get two Delta Pro Ultras just so that the inverter output is powerful enough. But I'm testing the Delta Pro Ultra bronze kit from Powered Portable Solar, so I want to see how long this is going to last. EcoFlow likes to do firmware updates fairly often, so I check in the app to see if I have the latest firmware, and thankfully I do. But if you watch to the end of the video, I'll show you a surprise or two about this that you'll need to know if you're going to use this off-grid for long-term power. 
We run everything like normal. We're not changing our habits really, including running water, which uses our well pump. Doing a load of dishes also uses the well pump and the electric heating element inside the dishwasher, and even running our gas furnace all night long to make sure the house stays warm and comfortable. The next morning I woke up both excited and concerned because I didn't know how much power we used after the sun went down to run the laundry, dishwasher, furnace, and everything in the house while we slept. But we were very fortunate to have a clear sunny day the next day, so the morning was beautiful. At about 8.30 in the morning, the battery was at 38%, a little low, but we were already making more solar than we were outputting from the Delta Pro Ultra. By 9.30 in the morning, I wanted to test if the solar input was accurate. EcoFlow has a little history of their systems not letting full solar power in after morning sun. But it looks like that's no longer an issue since this is inputting the same amount of solar before and after flipping the solar switch. By noon, while still running everything in our house like normal, the system was filled up completely, which is always very relieving. EcoFlow has a new tablet called the Power Insight that allows you to monitor and control your units from the tablet. To me, it seems like it does the very same thing that you can do on your phone using the EcoFlow app, but this does come with a cool wall mount that you can use basically to use as a central monitoring station in your house so you don't have to use your phone. Since the Delta Pro Ultra Bronze Kit is already fully charged up, I decided to top off another power station that holds about 10 kilowatt hours of battery just to have somewhere to dump the excess energy. I noticed that certain LED lights in my house flicker when using the Delta Pro Ultra. The LED light bulbs that have filament looking pieces inside of them tend to do this, but not the normal LED light bulbs. Since we're full on power and we have laundry to be done, I'm gonna go ahead and use this excess energy to do the laundry. If you want, you can use the Power Insight tablet as you go around your house testing power loads to see how much power they're using, which is a cool way to use it. It will show you the total battery capacity, temperature of the cells, how much power is being used on each outlet, which I think is super cool, how much solar is coming in, and the expected runtime or charge time left for either draining or charging the system. And if you get a Smart Home Panel 2 installed, you can get extra control over the circuits you're running, including controlling which circuits are turned on and off, and even what time of the day they're going to be turned on and off, and even make automations for them. The major issue with the Power Insight tablet is the battery life, which I think is ironic. I cannot believe how fast the battery drains on this. It's literally a couple of hours before it dies. So if you're going to use it, make sure to keep a charger close by or keep it on its docking station to stay charged up. Life is pretty normal while living off grid with the Delta Pro Ultra. I'm able to do all of my work online, do video editing, run more laundry, run my Wi-Fi, power my laptop, still running the furnace during the day, and so much more. It's getting late, which means no solar input. We do a load of dirty dishes pretty much every night after dinner, which means we use a good chunk of battery power to do the dishes at night. If we could change this habit to doing the dishes in the middle of the day, we'd have more power at night saved up. The next morning, about 8.30 a.m. once again, we're at about the same battery capacity of 42%. So we seem to have a very regular power usage at night, but our problem today is that the clouds are covering the sun up and it doesn't look like it's going to be a clear sunny day. Are we gonna get fully charged again? Are we gonna have enough power to run things like normal at night? And I'm really wondering if we need to change our power usage habits. We're only bringing in about 1100 watts of solar input instead of over 5,000. So that's only about 20% of the connected power on a cloudy day. It's a really windy cold day my side-by-side -side carport is getting pushed around quite a bit by the wind, and these holes are new in the side here. For at least a short while, I got 5,200 watts of solar input. And unbeknownst to me, someone had run a load of laundry in the electric dryer, which uses about 5,500 watts while running. I'm both slightly worried as well as quite impressed that it ran a heavy load of blankets on electric heat without overloading the inverter of the Delta Pro Ultra. That's all while still running the rest of the house. Throughout the whole day, there were these really cool dual layer, two layers of clouds covering up the sun, but that means less for the solar panels. And as usual, I was able to work on videos, work with people who email me at info at poweredportablesolar.com, reply to comments on my YouTube channel, and then get everything else around the house that needed to be done completed. A pretty typical day, life seems to be quite normal living off grid. I ended up getting the Delta Pro Ultra fully charged and finished charging up the other solar generator, even though it was cloudy most of the day. 
This is why maxing out solar input is so vital. Adding the extra four solar panels to this bronze kit seems to have made a huge difference in power production today. There are six kits from PoweredPortableSolar.com all geared around kilowatt hours per month usage. So just by looking at your power bill for the last 12 months and finding the month that uses the most amount of energy, whichever kit is closest to that total kilowatt hours, that is the kit that is designed to work with that much power usage. I even had some time and energy to work on another video project that I'm calling the Apocalypse DIY Solar Generator. It's using an LFP or a lithium iron phosphate battery, 2000 watt inverter, and a massive MPPT charge controller. I'll show you that video in the near future, so make sure you subscribe for that. But we did something different this night because before 8 a.m., we were down to 22% on the battery and we're normally right around 40% and still had a very heavy load before the sun was even up I was quite worried that we were going to run out of power since the timer on the screen said we only had one hour's worth of power left. Is the sun gonna pull through for us or is it gonna be cloudy? Is the bronze kit enough power for everything that we need to live life like normal? At least having purified water from our Berkey water filter doesn't require any power. Don't forget to smile as someone who lives off grid and doesn't pay an electricity bill. That's always something to smile about. But I need to get my morning run done with Tommy Rivs on iFit. So I'm monitoring the Delta Pro Ultra at the same time while running on my treadmill. I actually do not enjoy running that much at all, which is why I push myself to do it. As well, anytime I've ever seen a natural disaster, violent threat, something like that, speed and endurance seem to be extremely important. By the time I'm getting done with my run, the Delta Pro Ultra Bronze Kit, the solar panels are starting to bring in about 1200 watts of solar. And it's offsetting all of the power needs of the house and my workout. Moving from one thing to the next, it's time for my protein healthy breakfast with duck eggs from my ducks here at home. And I'm gonna cook them in my homemade tallow. You can see I'm all cleaned up, which means I took a shower, which uses the well pump. And I was still able to do all of my morning routine with very low battery because the solar panel started bringing in enough power. Now, I love chai tea and I'm making a big batch to keep on hand as well as vacuum sealing some steaks for dinner later on. All of this still being run 100% off of solar without changing our daily habits. Life is normal, including doing this food prep. And by 2 p.m. we were back to a full charge on the batteries. I'm all cut up on work, household duties, everything that needs to be done around here, I'm good to go. So I'm gonna relax a little bit and practice some virtual firearms training, AKA a little bit of video gaming, just practicing taking out bad guys using some tactics. With how things were going, I was getting extremely confident that we could simply keep going with the Delta Pro Ultra Bronze Kit without a worry. Things were so good that I decided to make pizzas for dinner with my family. I use a propane pizza oven, so there's no power draw there and these were delicious. Luckily, I don't have to use the battery for this but I may have been too comfortable and not focused on staying prepared because the very next day we started to get some snow. I woke up and the battery was only at 10%. Since the clouds were thick, there was nearly no solar input coming in at all. So we carry on living life like normal. I fully expected that our battery power was gonna go out because the clouds were so thick, seemingly indifferent about my desire to continue living off grid using the Delta Pro Ultra and the solar panels. 10% became 9% and then 8% and it kept draining till 5%. But then we started to get a break in the clouds and you could see the sun just a bit. And so 5% became 8% and that climbed to about 30%. That's the max that we reached in that day. But the night must come and bring with it the darkness. At about 9 p.m. that night, I found that someone had loaded the electric dryer again and the Delta Pro Ultra was at 11%. We were using just under 6,000 watts total, which is a lot of power. I decided to warm some tea up and accept the fate that was coming. We finally ran out of power as I was stirring my tea. After six days of running completely off grid, it was time to turn the grid power back on. That's as long as the Delta Pro Ultra lasted us because of the snowstorm that came in. The cloudy snow day had kept us from getting a full charge into the batteries. But as one final test to check the reliability of the Delta Pro Ultra, I kept the solar panels connected 
because I have the AC always option turned on in the Delta Pro Ultra, which means that it should turn itself back on and continue to run anything that's plugged into it. But Dark Start pretty much means that it's self-sufficient and will turn itself back on and keep running. But the weather was unforgiving and careless with its snow and dark clouds, and the solar input never turned back on by itself. But even with the snow and the dark clouds, once I manually reset the Delta Pro Ultra by turning it on and then flipping the solar panel switch off and then back on, we were getting lots of power back into the system, enough to have charged the system back to around 50% that day had it been going since morning. So it was unfortunate to see that you cannot have the system turn itself back on after draining completely to zero, which is what it's supposed to do, at least to my understanding. Maybe I have that wrong. But that's not all. I knew I wanted to run my off-grid cabin with the Delta Pro Ultra as well. I wheeled it out into my truck so I could take it up to the cabin to see how well it would do when it was absolutely off-grid with no grid connection for five miles. All I have are my solar panels up there. The road to get up there was pretty nasty and it even knocked my Delta Pro Ultra top off and flung it across the back seat of my truck when I hit a bad rut. I'm really glad I had disconnected the battery cables because I don't know if that would have broken them or bent them or ruined them. And I wonder if it's even gonna work at this point with how hard it got flung. There's still quite a bit of snow piled up, especially on the north side of my power shed. So I had to dig it out and I was really concerned about moving these heavy batteries into the power shed since they're over 100 pounds each and I'm walking in snow. Lucky for me, I was able to get everything into the power shed without a problem. I got it all stacked up and rolled over into the corner. For now, while I'm still finishing up my power shed, I'm running a 30 amp cable to the cabin to power it up. I connect the existing solar panels that I have up there into my Delta Pro Ultra. Very soon I'll have conduit and everything properly run between the power shed and the cabin and the panels that are 400 feet away. And that way I can run my air conditioning, my well pump, all my lights, fans, Wi-Fi, TV, everything without an issue. But you've stayed this long in the video with me, so now you get two extra special bits of information that everyone else doesn't get because they didn't watch this far. I truly love the Delta Pro Ultra and I think it's an awesome system. One of the major things I love about it is that I get to monitor it through my phone app. So I can be at home miles away from my off-grid cabin and I can check on it regularly to see how the battery is doing and make sure that the cabin has all the power it needs. The second bit of info that I'm gonna share with you is not so positive. And it's definitely not a deal breaker, but it is a frustration. Because as soon as I got my Delta Pro Ultra up to my cabin, I checked in on the app, got everything connected to Wi-Fi, and there was a firmware update to do. But I had a major problem. When you do an update on the Delta Pro Ultra, you have to disconnect everything and it needs to stay on Wi-Fi in order to do the update. Well, since it was powering the Wi-Fi, I couldn't unplug the Wi-Fi and do the update. So I am stuck with this version of the firmware until I bring up another solar generator to plug into the Wi-Fi and then I can update the firmware on the Delta Pro Ultra. Now I'm gonna continue living off grid using other solar generators like the Apollo from Hisolus, but click up here in the top right if you wanna see how the Delta Pro Ultra and the Apollo compare against each other, because they're probably the two top contenders in the whole market right now. And to find this kit, the Delta Pro Ultra Bronze, just visit the links down below or go to poweredportablesolar.com to get major discounts, complete kits, everything that you need to run your whole house.